Well, business off the charts right now in Marshall, thanks to more than a thousand workers staying in town to help clean up West Michigan's oil spill. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Kolker talked with business owners to see what they think of the extra business. We're here in Winston's Pub in the Century Old Landmark in downtown Marshall. Where this environmental disaster has been an economic boom. I mean, everyone's been helping out around here, around the clock. Since the Enbridge pipeline burst on July 26th, spilling about one million gallons of oil into the Kalamazoo River, it's been busy just about everywhere, at fast food restaurants, gas stations, even the dry cleaner. The local Wendy's has been so busy today, they're just about out of French fries. I don't care if it's McDonald's, Subway, or the diner down the street. Everyone's got to be seeing some increased business. At Shula's Restaurant, not only have workers flocked to dine in, but the restaurant has catered meals for their companies and for some residents evacuated from their homes. It's difficult to say exactly how many workers are here and the economic impact they're having. They come from Enbridge, from environmental contractors, and from government agencies like the EPA. At one point, more than 700 workers were working on the river. The clerk at the Arbor Inn figures cleanup workers are taking about 90% of the 48 rooms, each spending about 60 bucks a night. And here alone, that adds up to maybe $18,000 a week. So it's been good for business? Yeah, it has. Un unfortunately, it's not good for the environment, but yeah. At Winston's, which is part of Schuler's, they come to eat and drink just about every night. They're not afraid to throw some money around. Hans Schuler welcomes the workers and the extra business, but knows it'll be best for Marshall when they're gone. We all do anything we could to help Enbridge because that means that they can move on and uh, uh, our, communi our community can move on. Downtown Marshall, Ken Coulter, 24-Hour News 8.